Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess 2 Progress with number 41 in the series Viewers Games. This one is from Noah from Austria and it's a real over the board game. A classical game with one and a half hour per player plus a 30 second increment per move. It's nice to see a classical game in this series. Often we see blitz games played on the internet, but this is a proper one. Noah says, hey Rick, I'm a club player from Austria and I played a very interesting game that I thought would be worth sharing. It was a game between me and a rather young player, so it ended in a tactical mess. Let's look at this tactical mess. E4 from white and C5 from Noah. Noah plays the Sicilian knight of 3 in G6, C3, bishop G7, bishop C4, D6, D3, knight C6, bishop E3, both players developing their pieces, knight F6, knight BD2, Noah castled, knight g5, e6, white castled, and here Noah goes forward in the center with d5, and he says, at this point I thought I lost because my c-pawn was hanging. Yes, that pawn is hanging, but white does not have time to take it, because for the moment he has to save his bishop. He takes d5, and here Noah took back with the knight. The computer likes e takes d5 better. Again, attacking the bishop. And after bishop b5, the engine likes to play d4. Attacking the other bishop. c takes, c takes. And now that bishop has to move. And then white has a nice position. Sorry, black has a nice position. Black is better here. But after e takes d5, Noah took back with the knight, which is fine as well. And it is fine, because white can still not take on c5, because if you take on c5, that knight on g5 is unprotected. And yes, you can take an exchange on f8, but after king takes f8, black has bishop and knight for rook and pawn, and this is a better position for black. So white was wise not to take that pawn on c5. He took on d5, queen takes and knight d e4. Now that pawn is attacked twice, so it's time to defend it. b6, Noah played, rook b1, that's an odd move, and f5. Black has played much better than white so far, black already has a nice advantage. c4, Noah attacked white's knight, and now white is counter-attacking the queen, so Noah does not have time to take the knight. Queen back to d8, and knight back to g3. But that gives Noah the chance to play f4 with a nice fork. A tactical motif. We were promised a tactical mess, and we're getting it. Queen f3 from white, and Noah says, I hadn't seen this while playing. He t could take back his piece. Indeed, white is counter-attacking the knight on c6. But that fork is still there. So what Noah could have played here is queen c7, just protecting his knight, and he will win that piece anyway. Instead, Noah took on f3, on e3, straight away. White took his piece back on c6, and now the rook is hanging. So bishop d7 from Noah, queen d6, and Noah took on f2 with check. Rook takes, rook takes, king takes, and even though Noah missed that win of a piece, he has an overwhelming position. And actually he can win a piece now, and he played it, queen takes g5, because white cannot take on d7, cannot take the piece back. He did. But now he is going to be in big trouble, white is. Here Noah played rook f8 check, which is not the best move, and he says so himself. He says, so many good variations with bishop check, instead definitely a mistake. Yes, bishop d4 check is a very strong move. Let's look at a variation, king e1, queen e3 check, knight interposes, and then rook f8. And this is trouble for white. The threat is rook 
f1 check and after the king takes there is queen f2 checkmate and there's really no good way out for white so queen d4 check was the move instead of rook f8 check still black is better king went to g1 another check and king goes in the corner for safety very nice move here from black from noah bishop takes b2 and he says just picking up the pawn and making use of his back rank weaknesses i didn't see how he would get a counter attack started and indeed the back rank weakness shows if you take that piece then queen e1 check and you have only one move and you are checkmated with white so this rook cannot leave the back rank it has to keep the back rank protected because the king is stuck behind its own pawns so bishop takes b2 is a very good move white played knight e4 and noah comments that hit this surprised him here bishop c1 is a beautiful move again bringing that back rank motif into the position that bishop is protected by the queen and now the back rank is unprotected not easy to find bishop c1 and noah played bishop d4 which also looks very good queen takes check king g7 and h3 making a bit of air for the king queen takes pawn attacking the rook and rook b3 even though white had made some air for his king the back rank is still very weak and rook b3 is a big blunder there's a forced checkmate in the position queen f1 check was the right move by noah king h2 and now he could have checkmated with bishop g1 check if the king goes to g3 it's checkmate on the spot and if the king goes instead to h1 then there is bishop f2 check a discover check king h2 only move and then queen g1 is checkmate no i didn't see this after king h2 he played queen f4 check straight away and knight g3 noah comments here this was a blunder in his opinion he says rook g3 is is way better or at least i was more afraid of it well after rook g3 instead of knight g3 then black can win with queen c1 and again there is this queen g1 checkmate threat Knight g3 was played, it's a better move than rook g3. Black is still better. He played queen e5, wanting to swap the queens because he has a extra pawn in the end game. White does not want to swap queens. h5, queen d7 check, rook interposes, queen d8, rook f6, h4, queen d6. And again, offering a trade of queens. Queen e8, bishop e5, queen a8, bishop takes d3, rook takes d3, and rook f7. Queen e4, and here Noah plays his only bad move from the game. He played rook f4 here. And says I could have lost a pawn because rook g3 isn't skewered anymore yes I guess the term is that rook g3 is not pinned anymore there was a nice pin from the Queen but rook f4 breaks that pin and here white could have achieved an equal endgame with rook takes g6 check and after Queen takes Queen takes f4 we have an equal Queen endgame but white did not find Rook takes g6, he played queen b7 check, getting his queen out of the attack. King h6, and now he thought for 10 minutes, according to Noah, and played a very bad move, rook h3. There's no salvation for white, he cannot save this position, but rook h3 is a very bad one. Of course he was afraid that black would take on h4, but rook h3 loses the queen. Rook f7 check is a discover check. It's attacking the queen at the same time. Rook back to g3 and rook takes b7 and white resigned. He's a queen down. Noah says this game lasted for over two hours and was rather exhausting. 
my opponent had 1350 LO and I only had 1032. Hence, there might be some variations that I've overlooked or mistakes that weren't punished by the enemy. Well, you pointed out that one moment where White could have saved the game with Rook takes G6 right at the end. Apart from that, you played much better than your opponent who had more than 300 points more than you. You played a very good game from the start, positionally and tactically, and you really deserved this win. Well played. I can imagine it was exhausting, but you played a wonderful game. And thank you for sharing it with the Chess to Progress community. Well done, Noah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess to Progress channel. Please leave a comment. And if you liked the video, it would be great if you could share it on social media. You also may want to check out my Chess to Impress channel. The link is in the description box. And I've decided to, in the coming weeks, to make two videos a week on viewers' games just to get rid of the backlog of games that were sent to me. This is Rick from Chester Progress. Thank you for watching.